Science 4, Quarter 3, Week 1, Milk Base. Let's learn about Safety Measures in Physical Activities. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 4, we will discuss about safety measures in physical activities. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Describe the safety measures in physical activities. Accident is inevitable and unpredictable. Awareness of safety measures and putting it into practice will surely lessen casualties and loss of properties. Safety gears must be worn in performing physical activities like biking, skateboarding, and the likes. Accidents and injuries could be avoided if you are careful and aware of the different safety measures your school and community implements. Safety must be observed everywhere, most especially in your houses. During pandemic, it is also where you stay and spend most of your time. Games and physical activities you do outside cannot be played inside your homes. And for our first activity, let us do learning task 1. Draw a happy face if the situation shows safety measures. If not, draw a sad face. Number 1. Skateboarding in a busy street. Is it happy face or sad face? Very good! The answer is... Sad face. Number 2. Knowing the different fire or emergency exits in your school. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! It is... Happy face. Number 3. Ironing your clothes with wet hands. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The answer is... Sad face. Number 4. Playing with old batteries. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! It is... Sad face. And number 5. Wearing a helmet when biking. Is it happy or sad face? Very good! The correct answer is... Happy face. For learning task 2, how can you ensure safety in the following activities? In the first column, we have the kind of activity. In the second column, you have to write the safety measures of the following activity. For number 1, riding in a motorcycle. What are the safety measures when riding in a motorcycle? Very good! The safety measures are Wear a helmet Observe traffic laws Wear protective gear Stay in the comfort zone And watch the road Number 2 activity Handling of hot pots when cooking What are the safety measures for this activity? Very good! These are Use oven mitts or dry cloths when handling hot objects. When checking the contents of a hot pot, lift the lid away from you. Third activity is playing patintero. What are the safety measures when playing patintero? Very good! When playing patintero, Make sure the playing area is free from any obstacles, debris, or slippery surfaces 
that could cause accidents or injuries. Fourth, cleaning broken pieces of glass on the floor. What are the safety measures for this activity? Very good! When cleaning broken pieces of glass on the floor, use gloves to handle broken glass. Carefully put each piece of glass into a paper bag, then use broom and dustpan to sweep up some of the glass. And fifth, playing tops. What are the safety measures when playing tops? Very good! When playing a top, make it sure that no one is near in front of you to avoid getting hit by the top because it has pointed part that might hurt you or your playmate. And now, let's move to learning task 3. Right? Yan ang totoo if this statement is correct. And joke lang if not. Number 1. Physical activities can cause painful injuries. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is... Yan ang totoo. Number 2. To prevent injuries, go through the activity quickly. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is... Joke lang. Number 3. Use proper gears and sports equipment during the activity. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is... Yan ang totoo. Number 4. Do your activities on rainy days. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is... Joke lang. Number 5. Consult a healthcare provider before going through an activity. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is, yan ang totoo. Number 6. Walking and dancing are activities with the highest chances of injury. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is, joke lang. Number 7. Even handling materials can lead to harmful effects. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is, yan ang totoo. Number 8. Practice lifting and bending whenever you can. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is, joke lang. Number 9. The best zone for lifting is between the head and the waist. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? Very good! The answer is, joke lang. And number 10, the amount of force applied on your back cause pain and injury. Yan ang totoo o joke lang? What is the answer? Very good! The answer is, yan ang totoo. And now, let's move to engagement. Letter A, give at least two signages that you see in school. Write your answer in the table. In the first column, write the signages. For example, silence please. In the second column, write the location. For example, hallway or classroom. And in the third column, write the message. For example, do not make any noise. For number one, one of the signage in school is... The fire exit. The location of these signages are in corridor leading to door, in open areas, in front of door, and at foot of stairs or ramp. The message of this signage is, in case of fire, this is the escape routes or emergency exits. Another signage in school is the fire extinguisher. The location for this is This should be located in classrooms and corridors according to the size of building. 
The message of this signage is, in case of fire, pull pin, aim at base of fire, squeeze handle, and sweep side to side. For engagement B, after filling up the table, answer the following guide questions. Number 1. What signages are found in the school? Very good! These are No ID, No Entry Entrance and Exit Safe School Zone This area is protected by video surveillance Drinking Fountain No cell phone use in school zone Observe Silence No bullying allowed Restrooms And many more Number 2 where are they located? Are they visible for everyone to see? Yes, they are located in different areas of school where are all visible to everyone. Number 3. What will happen if all the pupils will obey the message of the signage? Correct! If all the pupils will obey the signages, they will be safe inside the school premises. Number 4. What will happen if all the pupils will disobey the message of the signage? Correct! If all the pupils will disobey the signages, they might encounter an accident that causes hurt. And number 5. How will you make yourself safe in school? I will always follow the school signages for me to be safe. And now for assimilation, A. List 5 ways of keeping yourself safe at home. For example, do not iron clothes with wet hands. My answers are, number 1, do not leave the doors open. Number 2, do not run when you go up and down in the stairs. Number 3, do not put any objects in the power outlet. Number 4, do not play knives and any sharp objects. And number 5, do not play candles and matches. For assimilation B, check the statement that shows safety measures at home and cross if not. Number 1, play with your toys with care. Is it check or cross? Very good! The answer is check. Number 2. Play habulan inside the house. Is it check or cross? Very good! The answer is cross. Do not play habulan inside the house. Number 3. Do not climb cabinets. Is it check or cross? Very good! The answer is check. Number 4. Do not play with vases or sharp objects. Is it check or cross? Very good! The answer is check. And number 5, play in the stairs. Is it check or cross? Very good! The answer is cross. Do not play in the stairs. Remember, Accident is inevitable and unpredictable. Awareness of safety measures and putting it into practice will surely lessen casualties and loss of properties. Accidents and injuries could be avoided if you are careful and aware of the different safety measures your school and community implements. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!